Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Inside with me, Lathrix. And, of course, welcome to a bit of a weird episode in which we're going to try and figure out where all the secrets are and take away all of those orbs. So, I won't be recording the whole thing, as you will imagine, or at least I won't be posting the whole thing. I'm just going to be editing this down to hopefully a few minute segments in which I find where all the secrets are, at least the ones I can find myself, and then after that I will look up online, probably in the same episode to see if there's anything else which we need to have a look at because this game has got me so captivated and mind blown. So we've all seen this before so I'll cut back in a second if I find something myself. Okay, so first thing I've noticed, this isn't actually a secret but it's just something which I've just kind of pieced together. I don't think the world has been infected. I don't think the world is being used. I think this is, is an experiment of some kind because these people here are abducting people. They're not here to kill sorry, to um, kill people at random. They're abducting people for some kind of experiment. So I'm thinking the experiment was the orb, was the legion, was the amorphous blob that we end up becoming. So that's a weird take on it. It's not that the world's been changed. It's that there's a very evil organisation. At least that's what I'm taking from it right now. It could be different, of course. This is just what I've seen. The second thing I've just noticed by actually dying is that these people aren't killing you. The one that shoots you with the gun hits you with tranquilizing darts. Thus, kind of uh, making it seem even more like this is just an evil organization of some kind which is after people to kidnap rather than people to kill because they don't seem to be actively trying to kill you more along the lines of, as we can see there on the floor, just kidnap you, knock you out. Still pretty darn evil, but not killing. Okay, now this one was spoiled for me. This one, I'll admit, I am not finding by myself. This one, a friend just told me about it because I just kind of told him all about, oh my god, the ending was amazing, blah blah blah. Turns out we had played it, and then went, oh wow, did you find the hatch in the cornfield? Which I assume is this. Okay, there's a hatch in the cornfield. How am I meant to see that? Yeah, I would have never seen that. I'll be honest, I would have missed this. This is one of the ones I would have had to look online for. So what's in the hatch in the cornfield then? That I don't know. There's... Oh, okay, yellow cable's going to the left, but let's have a look to the right first. That is nothing. Okay then, so I assume we have to follow the cable. It's like a bunker, I guess? Yeah, I guess... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, that, is that nuclear... No! That's the abomination! Look! The picture! Oh my god! It's got a picture of the abomination in here! Well, that's creepy. Okay, field research. The achievement for this one is. Because I'm not sure if the Steam things are actually being saved on the video footage. What's with this, though? Oh, come on, there must be something to do with this. Okay, that cable looks threaded, look. So I assume we can't turn it on, unless there's something else in here. So yeah, in case you're ever wondering, don't tell your friends you've just finished a highly story-driven game, because they will instantly assume you have finished everything. I've learned my lesson now. Okay, is that a cable? Or is that just for the light? Um, can I interact with this? No. How about the broken bit though? Can I interact with that? I'm basically following anything that's a cable. This is like the third dead end now. This will probably be like the third dead end if it is anything. And yes, I've recorded each time I found a dead end. Okay. Well, that looks promising. But what about these worms then? I still don't get there. Oh my god. Oh no. They're so docile and just zoned. Just pigs. Everywhere pigs. There must be something in here, surely. Oh, I see a yellow cable to the left. Hello, we found it. We found another one. But seriously, there's like six, there's like three or four cables before this one, which were identical to that. This is going to take forever. This has already took me about 30, 40 minutes. 
actually probably more. And we continue. I'm a little bit lost now. I've just gone through this section and I haven't found an orb. Now before this, I think I found all the orbs in this section because we now have the first five. So I'm now going through the water zone again and I'm really hoping I'll find one. Uh, the first time I went through, I made the assumption there wouldn't be any orbs underneath the water. And now I'm starting to change my mind because I can't see where else there'd be because it must be in this area according to the ones I've already got. So clearly I've missed one or two on the way through. So I'm going to be very meticulous and look absolutely everywhere in this dark place. I'm a little bit lost at this stage. I've now done this section three times and I still haven't found the orb and I'm starting to really think I might need to look up the guide. This is orb number six. I've already done this now a few times, you know, open this up here, move this way, press the button, release the barrels, almost get squished but don't. And I just can't find anything. I must have gone past that yellow cable there about three times. Okay, we've seen a yellow cable and it's going down. So we follow the obvious yellow cable. Oh my, I have went straight past that every single time. Wow, talk about missing the obvious. That is really annoying. It's going down. Uh, can we move the barrel? That's not a barrel, that's a box. Die box. Oh, we can. How about if we hit it from the top or the side? I'm thinking the side. Let's see if I can roll it over. Dink! Hello! I think we've found number six. I can't believe I missed this one so many times. It was not even a hard one. The frayed wire there. I'm still going down. Oh! It stops. No, it doesn't. Okay, that one continues this way, so it's this wire we're after. There's nothing on the ceiling. Are we in a whole new area? We are! Oh! There is the orbs in the background. And there's a couple of mind control helmets. Wow! I'm so glad I went back to this game. Hello! Doopy doopy doo. What use of you, Mr. Drone? You're the more innocent looking drones. <laughs> I forgot normal dr normal drones can jump. Wee! <laughs> Why did I do this? Um. Oh, look, there's a drone in the background. Okay. Uh, drop. Thank you. Can we get the drone to jump onto the submarine? And then use the submarine to boost upwards, perhaps? Or something like Okay, that's the idea I'm going with. Wow, like I say though, I am really glad I'm going back. I'm also glad I'm trying to look at as few guides as possible. It just makes the whole experience more fun, even if I am sorry if I do get a bit- Oh! I can have the drone use the sub. Well, that's weird. What now, though? The drone's still in there? Yes. Yes, he is. Well, that's just bizarre. Didn't really expect that, honestly. Um, then how am I going to get this to work? I wanted the drone to just be on the top. Okay, now he is. The problem I was having is every time I pressed down, the drone went into the submarine. What I had to do is press control first, then down, not down and then control. A very subtle difference. Okay, let's get you lined up. And into the thing. There we are. Good boy. Good droney drone. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now, hopefully, the other drone by using these conduits, can then destroy this. And off you go. Fantastic. Friends in low places. The next achievement. 
and so we carry on. Now, number seven, I also haven't found, so hopefully it will be a bit closer. I think that I think the most difficult ones are going to be where I've already completed one, and then there's one at some point after that, because then I don't really know where in context it's going to be. When I find one, then there's another one to find. You just keep on playing the game. It's much easier. This might be an easier one to find. So this is straight after we encounter the first of the water drones, the water babies, whatever you want to call them. And it's straight after you break... Well, you can trap it, I suppose, would be the best way of saying it. Essentially, you go left, not right. I like these ones. These ones are the easy ones. These ones are the ones I can find all by myself. Oh, thank you. Nice and easy. Especially after that last one. That last one was hideous. Saying that, I think the last one wasn't too difficult. It was just me being really confused by it. Oh my god, that's about to break any second. Look, the tree's trying to escape. And you're broke. That is... a table. So before we continue, I think it's only fair, now we've done quite a few of them, to see how many more we're missing. I'm fairly certain it's either the next one or the one after that I've already got, and so now it's going to be confusing again. I've now been at this for just under an hour. It's definitely taking me quite a long time to find all these individual orbs, but I'm thinking it will be worth it. At least, that's my hope. Okay then, never mind. So that was number seven. We have eight and nine. Both are currently missing. Okay. Well, there's a very obvious yellow cable. Okay, so it isn't in there. Now, saying that, though, I'm almost certain I've broke this before. Didn't I break this the last time I ran past? I used the um, drones, either the ones I just left or the ones I'm about to get. Hmm, I feel like I've done this one, but at the same time, I don't think- I- no, I couldn't- I couldn't have, because we still have number 8 and number 9 to find. If we've done this one, that means this is number 10, which A, seems way too early, and B, would mean I missed two of them. Now, missing one, I'm going to do. It's going to happen- in fact, it has happened several times. Missing two, though? Hmm, let's try and break it. Maybe I started breaking it last time, or maybe it was just- me as the kid breaking it, or trying to. And up we go. Thank you. And I'll be taking you. Thank you very much. Thank you, conveniently placed items. Now, come on, you three. We may be able to break ourselves an orb. Come on, keep moving. I've only just realised that none of the drones have shoes. A weird thing to figure out, but maybe that's very important to the hidden storyline of this game. Can you please all help me? Yeah, I did this last time. Oh my god, I didn't go in last time. Oh, I must have been so close. I think I broke it. Okay, if we, if, we, if we didn't break this, we broke something else. As you can probably tell, I'm actually getting very tired right now. I don't want to go to sleep though until I've finished. It's like 2 in the morning at this stage. But, I really want to figure all this stuff out. Well, this is very hidden cave-esque. Oh, I can take that apparently. I have the light! Wow, oh, it's like a little hidden beach. Ah, dog. I have fire! Fear me! Oh, come on. Well, I'm assuming, please stop killing me, I'm assuming then this is where the orb is going to be because otherwise this is just not fair. Oh, I know, I know what we need to do. Jump so the dog is in front of us. You go back. Go back. Do this. Oh, I can't do it. I was hoping to perhaps jump over him. Then that way I can scare him forwards. Nope. That's it, we scared of fire. Good animals. Scared of fire. Fear me. I am the bringer of flame. Pack mentality. 
That is number eight, or at least I think it's number eight. Let's have a quick look, see. To see if this is actually number eight. I really hope it is. Come on, where's the right one? There it is. Oh, we are so close now. All we have is number nine and number 12. So, where should I load in then? Last time I loaded in just after I got the mind control, because I must have went through this like three times. Hmm. I don't think they would put one here. But I could... Okay, never mind. I'm just going to play from here. I don't feel like they put two in the same save area. At least, that's my understanding. Sadly, I did have to look this one up. It is such a shame when I just can't find it. So it turns out, after that last one, there is such a massive gap between where that one was and where number 9, in terms of the orbs, actually is located. And it is located here. The problem is, without knowing that, I kept on going through the same areas over and over again, and I had absolutely no luck. So this, according to the internet, is what I have to do. So like usual, I press this lovely button here, the enemy starts coming after me as always, I get up here nice and safely, just about, but this time, rather than just getting the enemy to follow me here, I continue towards the left, or something like that. Like this. And then, there should be something here. There we are. I would have never found that. To be perfectly honest, I wouldn't have found it even if um, I knew there was such a large gap. So, I have no idea how you find that. Actually, how do you find that? Let's have a quick look, see. Is there any cables or anything on the surface which would hint? No, there isn't. Okay, this will kill me, but let's have a quick look, see. No, I would have never guessed that. Never in a million years. Okay, so that should be number nine. So now we just have number 12. Now, I remember getting the other one in this area, which is actually over here, if you recall. I went underneath the water, and this, I'm guessing, then is number 10. Number 11. I can't remember where number 11 was. Okay, I think I'm going to play from here. So hopefully back very soon. I think I know where this orb is, at least I hope I do. This is what we were confused about, well, at least I was confused about before. Don't worry, I'm not blaming you, only I was confused about this. This is where we first find the bodies hanging upside down. However, if you recall, the last time we did this, I first of all made a joke about the VHS down here, but there was a button we pressed, and I had no idea what the button did. In fact, it confused me for like a good... 20 minutes until the next weird thing happened. So, if all of that is to be believed, somehow using that button leads to the next orb. Come on, child, keep on skipping. Hello, buddies. I'm going to ignore all you. And we're going to go all the way to the other side. And we're going to press the button. And this time, we're going to figure out how to actually get up there. Because if I recall correctly, all, all it does is open up a hatch. But it's a really weird hatch, and I can't remember why. Look, yes, look, yellow line, yellow cable. The last time I did this, I assumed the yellow cable was just for the sodding button, but now I know that actually the cables lead to the orbs. Up we go. Now, here's the problem. How do I get up there? Maybe if I lean on this on one side? Come on, this way, this way! Hmm. Maybe? Come on. You can do it, I believe in you. Yes! No! But close. Okay, at this point I'm fairly certain it's not to do with the orb getting up there. Or whatever, the, or whatever you want to call this. Oh. Let's pretend that didn't take me like 10 minutes. 
And that should be that. Boom! Number 12. Room for reflection was the achievement. Oh wow, and it really is. Got a little radio, got some stickers. So let's go back to the Mega Orb and see if it's open, or have we missed one? Loaded in for the last time. Let's see if I can wake up a little bit for the last little bit. I'm sorry if I've sounded really tired for like the last few clips, but this has took me about 1 hour 30 minutes now, and at this stage I'm really tired and really hoping we've got it. Okay, that's all of them, right? And the door is actually open. Ooh, okay. Let's get a good ending, shall we, please? What's in door number one? It's not showing what's inside. Come on. I can run in. I'm still running. Oh, I was activated it. The last one, that was called. They're all turning off. But number two is still on. Number two. The, um, no. Is it the cornfield or is that number three? I think that's the cornfield, right? The hatch. Uh, I really thought there'd be something inside there, like an answer, but no. Okay, uh, cornfield, cornfield, cornfield. No, was that number two? That was number... You No, know, yeah, that was number one, wasn't it? The one underwater, and then... Oh, it's been like an hour. Um, I think this is number two? Are we going to get an answer in here? Hopefully the hatch is still open, because finding that the first time was a bit of a nightmare, honestly. Just hop I'm, I'm just spamming control to see if we can find it again. Oh, there it is. Seriously, how do you find this? Oh, maybe the thing's powered. The, um, door. This thing? No. Okay, I thought it might be. Where are you on? Oh yeah, you turned back on! I didn't even think that, I just broke it. It's just an instinct to break it without even thinking. You were turned back on, why were you back on? Who fixed you? Still nothing there? Um... What now? Can we swing on that light? Well, I'm lost. So that's been turned off again. We still can't use this weird door. It makes a little bit of noise though when I press this. Okay, then let's go back to the other room and see what's there. Come on, where are you? Where? No, no, not too far. There we go. I keep thinking I'm going too far when I see the other types of drone. Well, I would have never got that. So, I had to look up online one last time, which I'm really ashamed of how many times this took me. And there's actually a code you have to put in to the lever. This corresponds to the tones you hear from the radio next to the fifth or sixth orb. One of the orbs has a radio nearby, a tape recorder I should say, which is constantly playing tones. And remember what I was saying, I can hear something. It's really quiet though, so up, up, right, left, right, 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 up, 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 right, left, left, left. Wow. I just wow. Now I didn't look up what the ending was though, I was very careful and actually almost had it spoiled. So screw websites that put the code right next to what happens afterwards, because a lot of people like me are going to want to use the code, but don't want to have the ending spoiled for us. I was so really annoyed with the website, I won't name the website obviously, but my god, I was livid, I almost ruined it for myself. Well, so far this looks like an underground tunnel. Wow, this is really dark. It's not your screen, it's not YouTube, I just can't see a thing either. Just continuous darkness. I guess we are underground, so it makes sense. Oh! Bit of a fall there. 
Is this like what the entire thing's built on? Oh, hello. One of the mind control things over there. Oh, wow, it's like... I'm guessing that's hooked up to all the orbs. Look, it's got a mind control thing with loads of... yellow wires attached to it. And screens. Oh, no. Are the orbs... Are the orbs what control everything? Are the orbs what control the parasites? What control the people? Are they like the tele... The, just the field? Do they generate it all? And thus, is that like the overmind as well? Is that like the main controller is what I'm trying to say? So this whole time it was just a person. I mean, look, there's a chair and screens. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm going this way then. Um, is that a plug? Yes it is, okay. Goodbye, Master Controller. Oh my god, we just went limp. What? Is that the end? Is- no. So, the whole thing- Everyone. No. The workers, though? Would they be controlled? Whoa. Um. So, you were being controlled by that device. But there was no one sitting in the, in the device. Is that meant to, like, represent you? Or does that mean that the whole thing was a simulation? Or... I mean, it explains quite a lot. It explains why you can control things so well. And you are just a drone. It, it proves it at the end, you are a drone. I mean, we, we kind of assumed that from the first ending, but... There's a lot to um, take from that, and honestly, I think I'm just scratching the surface. I need to watch a video explaining that to me. So, my interpretation, feel free to disagree with this, is that... The whole thing, then, was an experiment. I mean, it, it makes sense from, like, looking at the kid through the glass and everything. The whole thing was an experiment, being controlled by whoever sits in that chair, who wasn't there at the time, which I assume is you, which means the Overmind actually has no power. The Overmind is just an amalgamation of bodies you got to control at the end, if that's true. And I know I'm still calling it the Overmind, the blob of bodies, because I can't think of what else it could mean. I mean, there are, actually, no, there are countless things it could mean. That's just the main one I'm thinking of right now. I'm going to leave it there. I think it's very open to interpretation. I'm sure people have much more logical things than what I've just said. But that's that then. We have, from what I can see, completely finished inside. I will have a quick look-see if there's anything else important I've missed. If there is, I will continue this video after this. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video and have enjoyed the inside series, both endings, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Inside was a series you enjoyed. Now, I'm very tired, I'm going to bed, and I am really, really confused. Well, very shocked, I think I should say. Thank you again, and goodbye. Next, we play Limbo.